a John with the trailer. If you're looking for a trailer hitch for your Kia Carnival and you're thinking you want to do it yourself, I think we've got a hitch for you here. This is the Kurt Class 3 receiver hitch that we've installed on our 2024 Kia Carnival. So no matter how much room you may think you have in the Kia, there's always room for more, whether it's kids, gear, pets, whatever. This trailer hitch is going to open up your world um, to cargo racks, bike racks, even some light duty towing. Um, this is a great option on the Kia. If you ordered this and it didn't come with a tow package that you wanted, um, if you're handy around the garage, this really is something that you can install yourself at home. If we take a closer look at this hitch, it's going to be a class three hitch. That means the opening size on the receiver here is going to be two inches by two inches. Now this does have a reinforced collar. Um, it is also powder coated a gloss black. And you're going to see the round tube extends on either side underneath. Now this hitch uses a 5 8 inch pin and clip. Now this doesn't come with it when you purchase it. You'll have to pick one of these up separately unless you have one. Um, we have these available here at eTrailer. If you are in the market for one, uh, if you want a little bit more security, we also have some that lock with a key. Now, if you have accessories or you're shopping for accessories like cargo carriers and bike racks, a lot of those um, already come with either a pin and clip or an anti-rattle device. Now, if you are doing some light duty towing um, and you need a place to hang your chains, your safety chains, this has a large plate style chain hanger. Now I did notice that on a standard S hook, it's kind of awkward. These kind of doesn't want to lock into place. So uh, these heavier duty clevis style seem to be the right style for this type of chain hanger. Now speaking of accessories, let's go ahead and get some measurements, see how this hitch fits on the Kia. And this will help you decide what type of accessories to choose. As far as the ground clearance, by adding this, uh, we have nine and an eighth inch of ground clearance. Now, this doesn't hang any lower than anything on the car, but what it will reduce is your departure angle. So that's something to keep in mind um, when you're choosing accessories. If you have a steep driveway or if you do some off-roading, light off-roading, uh, that is something you may want to get stuff that has a slight rise to it on this Kia. Now, what, the other measurements we like to get is from the ground to the top of the inside collar here. And we're looking at 11 and a half inches. The other is from the center of the pinhole to the edge of our fascia. And that's three inches. Now that measurement's important if you have or you're in the market for folding style accessories that have a stowed position. Uh, this way you want to measure that and make sure that it's not going to impact the back of your Kia. Now, as far as weight capacity, these the numbers read really well for this hitch. Uh, tongue weight rating, that's going to be the force pushing down on this hitch. We're looking at 600 pounds. So it's going to be plenty if you got a couple of e-bikes or if you like to load up the cargo racks uh, for a weekend trip somewhere. As far as uh, towing, uh, we're looking at 4,000 pounds gross trailer weight rating. That's going to be the force pulling on this hitch. Now, some things to keep in mind, that 4,000 pounds is going to be the weight of your trailer and then anything that you put in it or on it. You always want to check with Kia's owner's manual to find out how much your carnival can actually tow. So my final thoughts on this hitch, I think this is a great hitch, especially for um, people that are kind of do-it-yourselfers. This it really is something that you can get installed in your garage. Um, now it's a large hitch. You're definitely going to need some, some help getting it up there. Um, but as far as the actual installation, it really is bolt-on. There's no drilling. Uh, there's minor cutting of a plastic panel over here, but um, we've got tips for you as far as that goes. So if you want to see what it takes to get this hitch installed in the Kia, stick around. We're about to show you next. Now, the beginner installation will come to the driver's side underneath the van here. This plastic panel we're going to need to remove. Um, and it's going to be held in by some plastic fasteners. You can either use a pick or a screwdriver. Just push the center down and then the outer collar. Same thing with uh, the screwdriver, whatever you have will work. So we're going to have six of these. We'll get this removed and set it off to the side because we're going to be trimming it and reinstalling it later. Now when it comes to removing your exhaust, um, there's you need to be able to support your exhaust one, once we unhook it. Now our van's up in the air. I'm going to be using a cam buckle tie down strap and I'm just going to hook it on either side of the coil springs. If you're doing this at home, 
in your garage, you could probably just get a block of wood to support um, the muffler back here. We just don't want it to hang down. Um, so first step, I've got some silicone spray. If you've got soapy water at home, this is going to work too. But you're going to have rubber isolators up here. I like to pull down and get this spray or soapy water into that and then just work it back and forth. We're going to have an isolator here. And if you follow the exhaust pipe, we're going to have another one here at the front of the muffler. You make sure you get whatever you, you're using, the silicone or the soap in there, a little bit of this goes a long way. And it makes it 10 times easier to get these things off if you get the spray in there. So we've unhooked that one. If you're having trouble with yours, you can use a pry bar, because sometimes these things will get kind of hung up and stuck. So we're loose here. Um, I'm going to lower this down just a little bit, but we've got another exhaust hanger in the front. The goal is just to get enough room that we can slide the hitch up over this though. So I think we're going to be okay with just these two. Now before we raise our hitch into position, uh, just want to take a minute and note that it's these three weld nuts on each side. That's what we're going to be using to bolt the hitch up. And so what I like to do is take a bottle brush cleaner and just kind of make sure that these holes are clear. Because they're exposed to the elements, they're going to end up filling up with dirt and grime. Our van is pretty new, um, but if you've got some miles, these are going to fill up. And then I take the bolt that came in our kit, and I like to make sure that we're not going to have any problem. This hitch is pretty large, and chances are you're going to need an extra friend or somebody to help put this up, or you're going to need to support it while you put it up. And the last thing you want is to have a problem with the bolt or cross thread this because there's dirt and grime inside. So I like to do this on both sides. Make sure that once the hitch is up into position that you can get these bolts smoothly into the frame. Now speaking of hardware that comes with this hitch, you're going to get a total of six uh, bolts and six conical tooth washers. Now these washers are going to have teeth on the one side and the teeth are going to go towards the hitch. So you'll end up putting them on with the teeth pointing up. Okay, so we've got the large hitch here, so make sure you have some help to put this up. I got Peyton from E-Trailer. We're gonna put this up and we're gonna, I'm gonna do the exhaust side because this is the side where you kind of have to thread the exhaust through. And then raise it up into position. There is a bolt on the back side that you don't want to get caught on. Uh, so if it's not going up flat, it's probably by this back bumper. And then this is just going to be the hard part here, which is lining up the bolt holes and then the tailpipe is in the way. So like I said, you definitely are going to want to have help putting this up. Now once you get one bolt on each side holding it, it'll make it a little bit easier for you to get the remaining hardware in. So get this in, the remaining weld nuts here into the frame, you'll snug it up, and then you can torque it. And the specs will going to be in your installation manual that you get from Kurt. It'll definitely help to have a swivel and an extension over here on the passenger side. Now that we have the hitch up and installed, we're going to need to trim the plastic panel, but I just wanted to take a quick second and let you know that if you are also interested in trailer wiring, while this panel is off, take a look up on the inside. If you have this plug here, then your Kia is pre-wired for trailer wiring, and uh, we have a wiring harness here that's literally plug and play. It'll be easier than putting this hitch up. You simply plug it into here, 
and run your four pole flat wiring out to here and you'll have trailer wiring. It's really something to consider um, if you are even thinking about doing some light duty towing or if you have accessories that have lights on it. Now, for, as far as trimming this plastic panel, you're gonna have a diagram in the instructions. Uh, it's gonna lay out how to set this up. And so I've just got some tape to help me cut this straight. Um, we can use just a pair of uh, tin snips to cut this or if you have a Dremel tool, that'll work too. So I'm gonna take a drill and just drill my corners out. You don't have to do this. Um, I like to do this because a rounded corner on plastic is less likely, less likely to crack. And this plastic really does cut easy. So just take your time, get this cut out, trimmed out. If you don't have tin snips, I just wanted to show that this, this plastic is pliable enough that we can actually cut this carefully with a razor blade as well. And with your panel cut, you can reinstall it. Now you will have one less plastic fastener um, that you need to install because that went right here. So just get this put back up. Now all there is left to do is raise the exhaust back up into position. While you're under here, you can remove the tie down strap. Now with everything bolted down and secured, that'll complete our look at some of the features and the installation of Kurt's Class 3 receiver hitch on our 2024 Kia Carnival.